So uh, the new topic is uh, a tip regarding um, to a portal. You may encounter cases that uh, you drag and drop um, or add a new de device to your project, to your uh, tier portal pro project, and uh, uh, there is a there is an error. And the error is about at least one user must have the following runtime right: full access, include including fail-safe access. So, uh, we need to um, create user with uh, some um, access to the um, fail-safe related uh, features of S7-1500. So, the first step is uh, we want to create a project. So, we go add new device from the controller we uh, select a 71500 uh, in next slide you can see uh, in uh, TI version TI uh, version 19 uh, and from the uh, first safe uh, uh, first safe um, a portfolio we select uh, 1511F and uh, this is the hardware uh, we selected uh, we select this hardware and we want to add some safety program in it so um, there are some steps uh, before uh, finalizing and having access to the controller to mm, add hardware add or remove hardware um, add program add safety uh, standard standard program you need to uh, step by step uh, set password to uh, uh, pr uh, protection of the uh, confidential PSC data the first uh, step uh, the first um, password is set and after passing all the steps uh, you have access to the hardware you can add um, new modules or uh, perform the hardware configuration you can do the networking and some per, uh, programming you can do uh, you can add programs to your pro to your uh, PLC and everything is uh, ready before that uh, at the first uh, let us compile compile here let us compile um, the you know the, the, the raw project without any uh, accessories uh, we see that uh, there is a uh, there is a warning with the yellow uh, a background uh, color S7-1500 um, CPU uh, you know, display related to the CPU doesn't contain any password protection so let us uh, select and uh, move to the editor that uh, provide us uh, the interface to defining the password mm, we define password and uh, we compile again and we have the uh, users and roles uh, the problem is related to the users and the roles so we can uh, move to the uh, by clicking here we move to the uh, regarding editor users and roles in roles select roles uh, we add a new role user specific yeah the new role uh you mm, may only add uh you know the mm, the uh the runtime role that that is required in the alarm but uh, uh it's possible to see all uh possibilities runtime rights we select the hardware and the the plc you can see all the rights here.
from from uh, from the list you uh, you select what are the uh, required uh, rights so uh, I just select the um, some of the rights related to the fail safe uh, uh, fail safe uh, management and fail safe CPUs like the full access including fail safe and some of some of uh, some other rights I uh, add all of those rights for uh, user specific role user specific and then save the project here then I move to the users here I move to the users right click here right click here and add new local user add new local user uh, you can select a name for for this user here I just selected test as a user and uh, it's required to uh, provide password password for for the uh, user uh, when you select any mm, uh, when you select any user from here you you can see the available roles in the uh, list below in this example uh, we selected the user test and you can assign all all these roles and capabilities so we created user assigned uh, password and the next step uh, we should uh, assign these roles uh, to to the administration or the the main the main or test uh, user the admin the admin user so we uh, grant access to the test user to all the rights and save the project here save the project the next step will be selecting the uh, S7 1500 CPU and compile here. So uh, when we compile, mm, there is no such an error. There is no error, no warning. All the error, error and warnings are handled and uh, you can start adding hardware develop developing your standard part of the user program and the safety part of the user program so i stop the video here and uh, we find out how to create new new uh, runtime rules and add them to the uh, user a specific role and assign those roles to the uh, to a new user, add a new user and assign uh, those role, roles to that user for uh, safety S7 1500, uh, safety hardware and safety program. So I stop the video here and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.